Let us wind up 2020 with a simple kimchi recipe with apples and radish. This is in continuation of my series on lecto fermentation. So for this recipe you need ginger, chili and chopped apple. I have taken one apple since I am making a small quantity for you all. Blend it all together. We will need to add a little amount of water as well to make apple puree. I added half cup of water. You can add even extra amount of water if you want to make a bigger amount of kimchi. I have taken two radish here, two muli and this is our apple puree. Pour into a bowl and start heating. It will need to cook it on a medium flame. Lecto fermentation of vegetables and fruits is one of the best ways to enjoy beta carotene and antioxidants in food. Lecto fermentation aids in formation of probiotics. Lecto fermentation is just like making your own probiotics at home. So let it cool down. Once it has cooled down, strain it. The idea behind cooking it is to ensure that the apple and ginger leave their impact in the water. Now we'll be adding red chili powder because red chili powder is quintessential to Korean cuisine and you'll need to cut radish or muli into thin slices. The thinner the better and now pack them in a sterilized jar. Pack them as much as you can and then we'll be adding mineral salt. I have used one teaspoon of mineral salt for two radish for this amount. And remember, lecto fermentation requires a good amount of salt and salt acts as a preservative here. Now, leave it aside for one hour and after one hour, after the apple juice has cooled down, fill the jar with the apple puree that we have made. Mix it well and next add little extra amount of salt since we did not add any salt to the apple puree. And it tastes really yum and cover it with a cloth, muslin cloth and then place the lid. Place the lid and cover it tightly. Keep it aside for 2 to 4 days or until reddish softens. However, if you feel that there are a lot of bubbles, bubbling activity, I noticed bubbles on the second day and if you feel that there are too many bubbles, you will need to burp the jar. Because if you don't burp it, the jar might burst if it gets too bubbly. Burping is just loosening the lid and then immediately closing it. Loosen and tighten the lid. And this will act as a check on your bubble formation. But we need these bubbles because bubbles will help with probiotics. And this is full of probiotics. It does smell of radish. The water smells of radish when you open it. But it tastes really young. Once ready, you can strain the radish from the brine and then enjoy it just like that or with rice. I poured the brine on the rice and enjoyed the radish that had softened with it and if you suffer from burping or gas acidity when you eat radish then make kimchi with it leave me in comments if you are already making radish kimchi wishing you health and happiness in 2021